Hello and welcome back to the channel. Penetration testing helps to find weak spots before bad actors can sneak in. This keeps your data safe, build trust and makes sure that everything works smoothly in the online world. Today we will use brute force to pen test a website from low to medium security level in a controlled manner. Let's get started. First thing first, open OWASP broken web application project. Here you can find number of vulnerable websites to practice your hacking or penetration testing skills in a controlled environment. All vulnerable web applications at one place. To install it in one go, do watch this video. Link is in the description. For today, we will use DVWA and solve low to medium brute force level. Login using default credentials. Tap on login. Go to DVWA security. Select level from drop down menu and tap submit. Click on brute force, our first exercise. Enter any username of your own choice, XYZ123. Before login, open burp suit and turn the intercept on. Back to the website, click login. Time to open burp suit again. And here you can see the credentials we entered in login page xyz and 123 right click and send this to intruder right turn the intercept off intruder here we have to select our target click on clear to clear the gray area now our target is username and password select username you entered xyz in this case and tap on add Similarly, select password and click on add. Now our target is selected, that is username and password. Select cluster bomb and next step is go to payloads. Payload set one, select runtime file in payload type. Click on select file, right? Now here you can see two files, username and password. These text files have most commonly used credentials that I took from Google. Now time to select file that is username. Now for the second file that is password set payload to 2. Payload type runtime file under payload settings select file. Select file. Tap on password.txt. Now it's time to attack. Cluster Bomb will show all the possibilities to find exact username and password for the website with the help of data you provided through text file. The most important is to see the values provided by the burp suit in front of zero. And here as you can see the length value is 5260. Any length value that is greater than 5260 will be login credential in this case. All possible username and passwords are here. Now we have to try with the length value greater than 5260. Single click on length to show the values in ascending or descending order. Let's search for it. Mm. All right. And here you can see at number seven value is 5260, whereas at number eight, Length value is 5321. So our username and password for this particular website is admin. For testing purpose, let's try number 7 first. Sick and the password given. Tap on login and the password is incorrect. Time to try number 8. Type admin in both the fields and hit login perfect welcome to the password protected area admin low security level brute force exercise solved 
This is how you can find credentials for the vulnerable websites and then rectify the flaw with the help of developer. This OWASP broken web application project is really good to polish your penetration testing skills. Now let's move on to our next security level medium. The procedure remains the same except we added few more words in our username and password word list. DVWS security, select the level, medium, tap on submit. Now click on brute force, enter any username and password of your own choice. Cat. 1 2 3 turn on the intercept website login and here we have our credential cat and 1 2 3 all set now right click to send it to intruder intercept off tap on intruder and clear to clear all the gray area select username click on add similarly select password and click add target selected now on your attack type select cluster bomb move to payloads payload set one runtime file select file username Similarly, for second file, drop down to 2, runtime file, select file again and upload password.txt. Now tap on start attack. Now with the help of uh, provided word list, burp suit will generate approximately 85 credentials. But uh, we have to see length value against 0 it's 5269 in this case any credential with value greater than 5269 will be the username and password for this exercise let's wait for a while this medium security level sometime takes couple of seconds to generate all the passwords now here we have all the length values Look for the length value greater than 5269. Mm. All right. Search it. Find. Scroll to search for greater value. Mm. Now here you can see the length value of the selected is 5330. This is probably our username and password. Burps would generated number of credentials. You can try it one by one. But always look for the length value greater than the value against zero. Number 10 looks perfect. Admin in both case. Admin, password is admin. And now tap on login. Perfect. Welcome to password protected area. This is how you can brute force to find vulnerability. We will solve high security level next time as this video is getting a bit long. Thanks for enjoying.